The day eight of the 2024 Nigeria Volleyball Premier League Phase One hold in Abuja was characterized by so many eventful situations, ranging from the record of the highest numbers of straight sets in a day, and upsets were also created. The first straight set was the first women match between the youthful and dynamic Nigeria Air Force that recorded their second loss of the championship to a better and more expensive defense at 1925, 1825, and 1325. Another straight set was recorded as the Nigeria Customs Service humbled live camp in the second match of the day at 25-7, 25-15, and 25-17. The victory and feat recorded in the Ogre Premier League was attributed to the motivation and incentive received from the management of the Nigeria Customs Service. We had both the intrinsic and the extrinsic motivation. Our CGC has motivated us so much, which is the extrinsic, now the intrinsic. We told the players that we have a goal, and the goal is to win the league. Benno Queens in the third match of the day 8 handed down to Kadam Emirates as well set at 25-18, 25-22, and 25-20. I'm impressed with them. They tried their best. 3-0 in the league is a good, good point. Three points straight is good. So I appreciate that. It was another straight set as the Chief of Army Staff team forced a bitter pill down the throat of a sister agency, Immigration Service Team, in the fourth match of the championship at 25 14, 25 20, and 25 10. Today, honestly, I must confess that they've started getting the rhythm of the game. The team cohesion is excellently executed today. The last and the fifth women match between Quai United that lost all the matches played and Anampra Queens saw the latter winning the three points at stake in a straight set. At 25 9, 25 20, and 25 19. Let's now move to the men's category where the 13th tiebreaker of the championship and upset was created. The first match witnessed a surprise of the championship as the almighty police machine that defeated the customs team was brought down to its feet by the Nigeria Immigration Service that is struggling on the league log, creating an upset. Immigration won the first set at 32 30. Police machine took the second and third sets at 25-21 and 25-19. But amazingly, immigration came from behind to win the first set at 25-15 and went further to win the tiebreaker at 15-12. The they come out today, they will be swinging this game by all means. So the defending champions of our team on the eight proved to be in the championship to defend its title as it cost the dreaded chief of Davos staff team that has not lost a match to record its first loss proved to be a better side in the department of the game, humbled CNS Packers 3-1 at 21-25, 25-22, 25-20 and 25-19 to keep the hope of winning the championship back-to-back -back alive. And we got our side. We will try everything much possible to ensure that the title never slip over our hand. This is just the beginning. We have not even started yet. We give glory to God Almighty for this victory. If out of eight matches, you understand, we have lost one, it's a plus. You understand? We still have about three more matches to go. What we need is for us to accumulate more points so that we top the league. Second phase is coming. The Nigerian Correctional Service defeated Adamawa Spartans in another straight set at 25-20. 25-16 and 25-14. Former champions, the Nigeria Customs Service, having lost a three match previously, lost the fourth match on the eighth to the Chief of Army Staff at 1-3, at 21-25, 25-17, 24-26 and 25-17. I'm over happy. I'm over happy. I'm very, very happy. And with this result, I think we are going to The last match of the eight was between Sunshine Sparkers and the Civil Defense and it ended in another straight set at 25-13, 25-19, and 25-21 in favor of the civil defense team, making it the second victory for the one-time champions of the league. It's indeed a wonderful upset. Play the kind of game I'm expecting civil defense military to play, irrespective of whatever we're passing through. We should we have that character. We should be able to show the character in us, irrespective of whatever. Now we win. I'm happy winning, and I'm happy about the kind of game my men play. The hostilities for the night today, Tuesday, September 3, have since commenced with another round of 10 matches 
in the both men and women categories. In Abuja, it's been Ken Dilamidi reporting for Kenilam TV.